Silver Falcon. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Turtle Cave. I'm Aaron, as always. That's me. And today we're back again with another review. Uh, we have NECA presents the Silver Falcon. That's right, the Silver Falcon. So this is from the Gargoyles line. This is Broadway, or starring Broadway, as they say on the package. Um, so yeah, I kind of love to hate this line, right? So I loved the show as a kid. I watched it. I love the figures, but they are such a pain. If you do not have a huge room to collect in, which I do not, uh, the Turtle Cave is not that big. Um, these guys are a huge problem because the wings are huge. Uh, they don't stand very well. The feet are a mess because they're not really meant to be like walking, you know? So they, um, they're, they're kind of a problem. They're great looking figures, but yeah, I, I kind of stopped picking them up. But um, let's see, we'll go over this real fast because I think there's a list on the back. We'll see who we got, right? So I don't know about you guys, you tell me. Um, who did you guys get? Did you get all of them? Are you in on this line? Are you not? I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, hit or miss with this line because of the exact things that I just said. I feel like that's, you know, a pretty, uh, pretty accurate assessment, you know? They're just, they're space eaters, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I have, in the collection so far, we have um, Goliath, Bronx, Brooklyn, um, I have Hudson, we have Broadway. I did not buy Lexington. I did not buy Angela, I think. Um, I do have, oh man, what is the evil guy's name? I can't even think of his name now. See, I don't know all of them. Then there's Demona. Then I don't have Demona. I don't have the evil robot Goliath. I don't have Xanatos. I don't have Eliza, I think was her name. And I don't have this robot either. So I'm missing quite a few. I kind of just stopped because again i don't have the space like there's no way for me to display all these where am i going to put them you know but i saw this as part of like the holothon drop and i'm like wow i haven't seen any gargoyles in a while and i haven't seen anybody review this yet so i picked it up for you guys so you're welcome i buy toys for you not for me for you remember that <laughs> that's what i tell everybody anyway no, I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for people on my channel. They want to watch it. So, it's a good excuse. So, here he is. So, it looks like pretty much the exact same figure we'll compare. Um, but he's got a trench coat and a hat. So, he's like a, like a turtles in disguise, but he's a gargoyles in disguise. So, there he is in the package. So, let's crack him open and uh, yeah, see what we got going on here. All right, there's the barcode if anybody wants to snag the barcode. Let me get it in focus. Boom. There we go. But yeah, I haven't seen this yet. I didn't even know this was announced. I had no idea. It just There was just one that showed up at my local Target as part of Holothon. They put it out on the shelf with all the turtle stuff, and I said, huh, I'll, I'll take a look. So, all right, give me one second, and uh, yeah, we'll see what this guy looks like. Boom. Magic of editing. We are back. You didn't even notice. It's like that. Boom. And that figure was open. I did it magically, guys. So here he is with all of his accoutrement, his accessories. Um, so yeah, it looks very similar to the other um, Broadway figure that we got. Um, we will compare. This line is just, it seems like it's all over the place, man. So like I said, the other ones come with huge wings, which are extremely well done. They look great. But you can't store them anywhere. Now this guy comes with the draped wings. Now I, I just, I kind of feel like they should all come with both, right? I understand why they didn't give us 
the open wings with him because we already have them, but we should be getting the draped wings with all of them. So we don't have to have an option of not purchasing them because of space, right? So if they all came with draped wings, I feel like more people would be into this line because you would have a lot less space eaten up in your collection, right? Um, but let's get into it here. So we do have the draped wings, as you can see. Well done, soft plastic, nice. NECA does a really good job, nice shading. Texture's great, as always, they look really good. They look like wings. Nice green on the inside. Everything very nice, right? And then you have his tail. So, and it's got the bendy wires. There's your little holes there for the bendy wire, right? These are great too, it's just they get in the way. You gotta bend those really far out of the way there. So he comes with two open, like, style-posed hands on him. He comes with two fists, a right and a left fist, fist bump, and then he comes with this hand, which I guess is like his pickle jar hand, because I'm going to go with those are pickles. If not, they are weird looking, whatever they are. Ugh. I do not want to eat that. See it in there? So I'm guessing that it holds this. Maybe not. I don't know. Like that's a that's a big jar. Hmm. We can hold the top of it. Like I I'm stretching that hand and it ain't holding it. So I don't know how you're supposed to hold the pickles. Hmm. Hmm. Got this hand. I don't know. We're gonna have to mess with that because those that's a big jar of pickles, guys. That thing's huge. And then he comes with like a pot. Of like stew or something. There's a spoon stuck in it. There's all the detail on the inside. Let me turn the light up a little bit. Maybe we could see it a little better. So for me, it always looks darker when I'm shooting. Like I'm looking at it right now on a monitor. And for me, it always looks dark. I'm always like, it looks so dark. And then when I edit the videos and upload them, I'm like, oh, it's not that dark. <laughs> it's so weird, dude. I don't know. And then we have some... Looks like low main or chow main or main main. Just main, one of those. Nicely done. Noodles with some chopsticks. That's a good accessory. NECA is so good with the accessories. They just, unlike any other company, man, I gotta say, they just crush it with the details. Look at that, there's a sandwich. Look at that. All the different layers in there. You got cheese, meat, tomatoes, lettuce, bread. That's like a full-on giant sandwich. And he took a big bite out of it, too. Look. It's a gargoyle-sized bite. Okay? And then you have the head that comes on him. I'll show that in a second. Then you have this head, which looks like the exact head that we got with the last figure. Right? So it's just like a standard stoic looking head not angry not anything just normal right and then you have the oh man gray eyes whited out yelling screaming head with his teeth showing like he's super mad now right and then here is the head that comes on him so this is like goofy to me like it's just like real goofy looking i don't know why like his cheeks are real puffy you see that? Like that's not how the regular head looks on the other one. It's real thin. See the jaw lines real thin? On this one it's like he has like he has food stuffed in his cheeks. I wonder if he just took a bite out of that sandwich and now it's all stuffed in his mouth. But the hat comes right off. So it's not even like pegged on. It has three little dots on the inside. In there and they sit on the top of the spikes on his head. Just like that. So they're kind of like pegs, but not really. So that, that's actually pretty good. Let's see, and I do have him standing because he doesn't have all of his heavy stuff on. So let's see, can you put the hat on every head? You can. Oh man, that's cool. So you can put the hat on that head. And let's see, can you put the hat on the angry head? Yes, you can. Oh man, look at that guy. He's super angry, but he looks fashionable while he's doing that. So be careful. I will say be careful with the hat. There's already some brown paint 
showing on the top of his horn there. I don't know if you can see it. I think right up there. Just a little bit of brown washing off from the hat. All right, so let's take a look at this guy here. So I'm guessing it's the same body underneath uh, as before. It looks exactly the same. Same clothes underneath, same legs, same feet. So it's, a, it's the exact same body, just a reuse. And they just tossed the coat and the hat with an extra head and some draped wings. So that's cool. And you got a couple different accessories. So let's see what he looks like. I guess we can go over articulation as well. I don't know if I should take the coat off. How hard it would be to put it back on. But yeah, there he is. So he looks exactly the same. Let me just pull this guy in for a sec. Hold on. So look, here is this. Look, here's our other one here. And you, you get... Whoa! Man, dropped his popcorn. So you get what I'm saying with the space now, right? Like, look at that. Look at the amount of space this guy takes up. He doesn't even fit in the frame. Like, that's so much space. Okay. Your spike ball's getting getting caught up here, bud. Here, give me this. Take that off. Okay. I like your weapon. It's cool, but it's in the way. All right, so here's our guy. Okay. So you can see it is literally the exact same figure. You just get a different head. Now you can really see the difference in that head sculpt, right? I wonder why they did that. It's funny. It must have been like that's what he looked like in the show. Or he has to have food in his mouth or something. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. People love to find that stuff out and let you know. So that's cool. All right, so let's go over articulation. I'll put him off to the side because uh, he is taking up a ton of space. Get over there, buddy. All right, so we'll leave the the coat on just to see what his articulation is like with the coat on um, so we have arms that go up about that far which is you know about 90 so that's good and then he's got rotation so it would do a full 360 but with the coat no so just know that he can so you got forward and back which is really good and then you have a I believe he has a double jointed elbow yeah he has a double jointed elbow that comes up to there, which is great. I mean, that is super good range. Looks awesome. All right. And then at the waist, he's got a twist at the belly. See it there? Twisty, twist, twist. And then he has like a, like a chest crunch up here where you can kind of shift him from side to side. That works really good, actually. And then a little tiny bit back and a little bit forward. So that, that works really well, actually. His ab articulation, like his chest articulation, is really good. All right, so then at the legs, he could do full-on splits, which is great. And then legs go forward, about that far. Move this stuff out of the way for you. So legs go forward that far. Legs go back really far. Man, he this guy has great articulation. I never realized how good the articulation was. About 90 on the knee, and it looks good. Looks really good. All right, so the feet all the way back, pretty far forward, you know, a decent amount forward. And then you have your rocker from side to side and toe hinge. So so you can have them like digitigrade. Is that what they say? Digitigrade. <laughs> you can have them walking like on his toes. Where is he at? Come here that I'm standing on his toesies so his articulation guys is actually great I never realized how good he was I guess because I never reviewed them I kind of just opened them and hung them up yeah you know, I have mine like hanging on a wall they're not really standing or anything because again way too much space and they all have their wings I just I think they look better with their wings on than off so I'm glad that he came with the draped wings. So before with Goliath, you had to buy, um, what'd you have to buy? You had to buy the, the dog, was it Bronx? You had to buy the dog to get the draped wings for Goliath. They didn't come with him, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm really glad that he came with them. So here's the back. We have the cutouts there for the wings. Um, so it looks like what we're gonna do is pop the head off, right? And we're going to put this over here. And then we're going to kind of mess with this a little bit here. Hmm. 
All right, let me think, let me think, let me think. How is this going to work? Give me one second, guys. Let me look at the package here, because I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so they do go over top of the coat. So let's see. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I mean, it's a, this is tough, guys. Holy schmoles. All right, so I will tell you, take your time, okay? Uh, you're going to have to fidget with this a lot, like a lot, a lot. Now he doesn't want to stand up. Um, that was not easy. With the coat, it's real fiddly. Real fiddly diddly. So you got to get this on, fidget with the coat all around to get this plugged in back here. As you can see, mine still does not look great, but it is plugged in, so it's very, very fiddly to get it on there the way that it should be. And now I don't know what's happening here, but his legs seem to be not the same size. <laughs> there you go. What are we doing here, buddy? Come on. Stand up for your fans. Everybody wants to see you. It's your big moment. All right, there he is with his cape. Man, that is tough in the streets. Okay. All right, now let's see if we can get his tail on, if that's just as fiddly diddly. Come on, buddy. Get that tail in there. All right, there we go. Tail's in, nice and easy. So that wasn't a prop. Really, sir? Really, sir? So the, this is sewn together. Oh, jeeps. All right, hold on. Yeah. All right, so let's put it through the trench coat this time. There we go. All right. <laughs> there we go. Now we're good. Okay. All right, so this, is, this has like a real thin sewed line right down there at the bottom. So this is not split. See it? It's sewed together. So you have to put the tail through there. All right. And then just, you know, once you got them there, you can kind of fiddle around with them and get them all situated wherever you want them. All right? So there he is. There's Bronx um, in his Silver Falcon uniform. To me, it sounds like a, like a Street Fighter character. Silver Falcon versus Ryu. <laughs> you know, something like that. He makes like a weird noise when he attacks somebody. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Put his hat back on. Boom. Now he's ready to go. He's out prowling the streets. I guess he's like a private detective. You know? He's out there looking for bad guys. You better not get in his way. Because the Silver Falcon doesn't take no prisoners. Dun -dun -dun. Silver Falcon. <laughs> All right. So, yep, yeah, there he is, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, let's do a couple size comparisons real quick. Let me see what do I got. I didn't even take anything out because I wasn't thinking. So, let's see. We have Super 7, Michelangelo. <gasps> Mikey, come on, buddy. Get it together. Get it together, pal. Right? So, there you go. You got your Super 7 Mikey. And then we have, here's a really good one, Turtles in Disguise, Donatello. Now, these guys could be out together, working together, right? Check it out. They look like they're like a duo. You know, like they're both out to fight crime at night. I'm going to leave him there because he just looks cool. All right, let's see. Who else do we got? We got um, Jada Toys Mega Man. All right, there's your size difference there. Obviously, he's pretty tiny. Uh, we have the NECA Baby Shredder. There he is. He's so little you could barely see him, right? Very cool. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? What else do we have? Oh, here we go. 
we have the new and improved Rocksteady that we just reviewed the other day, which I love. It's such a great figure now. And he's got his cool helmet on. So there's both of them looking cool together. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Whoa. Let me know what you guys think. Um, how far into the Gargoyles line are you? Are you all in? Are you just picking and choosing like me? Do you, do you hate this line? <laughs> do you hate the, the amount of space that it takes up, I should say? Because that's how I feel. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out at the Turtle Cave. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.